Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings and this is a video to show a couple of my FOs. I have one other FO than this, but I'm going to do a separate video for it and whatnot. Um, sorry, I, I'm, the heat's really getting to me y'all. It's so hot here, it's dry, we still don't have rain. I do love making my videos, but some days it's just, and if the air conditioner worrying is, is the, the sound is too much, let me know. And so next time I won't have it on, but it's really too hot to not have it on. Um, and it just happens to be close to us. So the first one I made was Maleficent, which was from this book, Disney Princess and Villains Crochet Finger Puppets that Linda just a crochet sister, um, uh, sent to me and um, I didn't do the finger puppet but I did make her for his mom because she loves Maleficent and it's her Mother's Day gift which she's getting late but that's okay you took her out early so it works out right um, but uh, I've had her done for a while when to make a video before he took her but also it I didn't have her done by Mother's Day because I got frustrated with the arms because I have a really hard time crocheting in the round when they're that small but okay, let's talk about her. So um, the black is mainstay black. The green is tea leaf, red heart tea leaf. The red is a little tiny scrap ball of something that felt like hair on Simply Soft. Not sure if it was. Purple was a scrap ball and I believe it was um, a red heart yarn. And um, so that's all the yarns. She's got her little, oh, my hair stuck on there, collar. I, um, I glued the cap onto the head and I glued the horns because for one, it's not going to a child. Um, it's going to, I, I'm pretty sure she'll just set her somewhere. Um, but also Llama Mama Kayla hot glues her stuff and she swears by it and I trust her. So if y'all want some good tips, y'all need to go over to Llama Mama Kayla because she's a smart lady. Got a lot of good tips. So, and also a wonderful friend of mine, but yes, very, very smart. Got lots of tips. So I glued those because I just, sewing that on, I was already frustrated. The heat makes me more frustrated. I have trouble crocheting in the heat. It probably sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Um, and then on top of that, I do have trouble, I'm learning how to sew things on better. But this was just, I thought, you know, it, it's that much easier just to glue it. And I think it would look better glued. And so I did. Um, her cape can come off. Well, no, wait, I think I, I crocheted it on. Yeah, I crocheted it onto her. But it, um, they don't have you crochet it on. But mine was a little big right here, so I kind of put some stitches to hold it on. And here's her little arms. <laughs> so she was a finger puppet, but I made her into a stuffy. And what I did was is I made her, and then, and I, then I crocheted the bottom and sewed it on. Okay. Next time, I'm going to crochet the bottom to the size it needs to be and work up. Because that's how you do it anyway. You start from here and work up. And so, um, yeah. And it was it was super easy. I was just frustrated with the arms. The only thing that you really have to sew on, is, as far as body parts go, the arms. The, the body and the head are made all in one. And then, of course, you've got, like, the clothing. Like, the, the, the collar sews onto the body. And the arms sew onto the body and the helmet thingy um, sews onto the body. So I think she came out really good. I am impressed with her and I will make her again because I want to make a whole set, the whole set of them. Y'all know I got to be making Ursula though. That's, that's my girl. And then I had an order for an octopus from the girl that gave me the big bag, the uh, trash bag of yarn. And she wanted an octopus about this size. So. Um, this is Burnout Softy Blanket. I think that's the name of it, but I can't remember the name of the color. But she wanted it multicolored, and I thought that was just a perfect summery color. Like, it makes me think of fruit salad or something. And so, um, he's nice and squishy. She, I sent her a picture. She loves it. And when she's in town, she's going to pick him up. But I'm going to make, I'm going to finish up this ball of yarn and make maybe a couple more octopi or... I don't know, something. Maybe I'll try a jellyfish in this. I haven't decided, but I'm very happy with the both of them. I have another make, but I'm going to do that for May Flowers. And I also have another video coming that I need to do this evening, which is for Pups and Crochet. 
And so I've got to get going on videos. I just feel real exhausted from this heat. I was supposed to go to a t-ball game. I had a headache and then I had tummy problems. If the t-ball game hadn't have been out of town, this is for my great nephew, I would have still gone and hoped that I was okay during the game, but having to go out of town, it just didn't seem feasible to be going out of town and having tummy problems that doesn't mix. So I hope that no one's too disappointed in me. Um, but yeah, and I will link Linda and Kayla down below because I mentioned them and they're wonderful ladies and you should go check them out if you haven't, but I'm sure you have because for one, they're, well, they're just amazing. And for two, I talk about them all the time and I link them. So I hope you check them out by now. Um, I don't know who all my new subscribers are, but thank you. I gained quite a few just overnight and, um, I thank you for taking a chance on my channel and for all my returning friends. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you all. I hope all of you are safe. I, um, and I hope that you're staying out of the heat. If you have a lot of heat, <laughs> some people don't have that much heat right now. You lucky suckers. <laughs> but, um, I, I hope that you're like, have a way to not to, to stay out of the heat. I know here we have places that donate air conditioners and plant fans to under um, to people who are in need of them. And so uh, if you need something like that, you might check with your community help. Um, but yeah, so I will let you go because that's not what this video is about. It's about yarn and crochet. And um, oh, the, the one another thing I'll do different when I do it is I'm going to put something heavy, those little stones or something those flat stones at, at Dollar Tree in the bottom so that she's a little heavier on the bottom to, she stands up but she'd stand up better if she had something heavy there so yeah okay I will talk to y'all in a little bit bye